Today is October 19th, and Pastor is saying to us, Continue in prayer. Our opening scripture comes from the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17. Pray without ceasing. There are certain situations you may face, and all you have to do is pray once, and that's it. But there are other situations that call for persistence in prayer. The Word of God teaches us about different kinds of prayers and what rules apply to them. For example, when dealing with things about other people, especially when it has to do with their wrong choices and beliefs, you don't just pray once and go away. You continue in prayer, interceding for them, rebuking the adversary that's deceiving them. You have to repeatedly mount pressure against the adversary until he lets go and there's a change. There's so much evil going on in the world today, and the plan of the enemy is to set up the world of the Antichrist before the time. But we have to prevent that. The Bible says the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man makes tremendous power available. We will keep pressing in the spirit, overturning the decrees and activities of darkness. God has never thought and doesn't think Satan is a problem because he gave us authority over demons and the powers of darkness. The problem, for the most part, has been that some of God's children focus more on personal gains instead of the faith to save men. Our world will surely be a better place if we would focus more on the souls of men in fervent prayers, intercessions, supplication, giving of thanks and preaching the word. That's what he charged us to do, and he told us the outcome and why we should do it. I exhort, therefore, that first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings, and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1-4 to Follow the word and pray like this. Jesus said, Men ought always to pray and not to faint. Luke chapter 18 verse 1. If we follow the order and pray as the Spirit indicates, we take this whole world for Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Please say this prayer with me. I break the power of the devil off the souls of men and declare that the gospel penetrates the hearts of many around the world today, turning them from darkness to light, with the righteousness of Christ established in their hearts. Every hindrance to the gospel is destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ, and there's a massive harvest of souls in the nations. Amen. For further study, Please read 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 to 4, and James chapter 5, verse 16 of the Amplified Classic. For the one year Bible reading plan, please read 1 Timothy chapter 1, verses 1 to 20, and Jeremiah chapters 5 to 6. For the two year Bible reading plan, please read John chapter 6, verses 41 to 51, and 2 Kings chapter 5. Rhapsody of reality.